How to create blue roses. Although a blue rose does not naturally exist in nature, you can create one by coloring the petals of a white rose. There are a few different methods to choose from, but all three will result in beautifully vibrant blue petals. Whether you choose to dye or spray paint the roses directly or let them absorb the dye, you can choose how dark or light you want the blue coloring to be. Be sure to use professional floral dyes and paints to preserve the rose. Dyeing through absorption. Gather the necessary materials. To dye the petals through absorption, you will need powdered blue florist's dye, water, freshly cut white roses, scissors, dethorning tool optional, a glass vase, and flower preservative optional. Ideally, the roses will not have been soaked in or treated with water. Dry, freshly cut roses maximize the uptake of the floral dye. Standard food coloring will also work, but you will get better results with a professional florist's dye. The flower preservative will make your roses last longer, but isn't necessary to the dyeing process. Remove the thorns from each rose stalk. Use a dethorner, a sharp gardening knife, or a kitchen knife to remove the thorns. You can also cut the thorns away using scissors. Avoid scarring the stem unnecessarily. You do not have to remove the thorns for this technique to work, it is more for your general safety. You can wear gardening gloves to protect your hands if you'd like. Prepare the blue powdered floral dye in an empty vase. Combine the powdered dye and warm water according to the directions on the packaging. Stir the mixture thoroughly to ensure all of the powdered dye is dissolved. Cut the stems and place the roses into the dye solution. Using the scissors, trim the ends of the stems at an angle. Let them soak in the dye for 30 to 60 minutes. As time passes, the uptake of dye will progress and begin to saturate the petals, infusing them with a blue hue that intensifies over time. Leave them in longer for a darker color. If you don't see any color change, remove the stems and let them dry out a bit. They will absorb more water if they are thirsty. You might also need to add more powdered dye to the solution. Trim the stems again and return the flowers to the dye solution. The fresh cuts will remove the healing tissue created to seal off the wounds, allowing quicker, more complete uptake of the dye. Again, trim the ends at an angle. To avoid making a mess, wipe the stems off with a paper towel before cutting them. Return the stems to the dye solution to continue the absorption process. Wait until the flower petals reach the desired shade. Within half a day, the blue dye should have spread, evenly coloring the rose petals. At this point, throw out the dye solution and replace it with clear water. Rinse the dye off the bottoms of the stems before placing them into fresh water. You may want to add a flower preservative to the water for longer-lasting blooms. Use your blue flowers to make a nice floral arrangement. 